Welcome, everyone, to Celebration Sunday. And we couldn't have asked for nicer weather if we had uh, truly, truly prayed and asked for it. I know I was praying for nice weather because I, I like being outside, and I love this service and our time together. So be ready to participate, to get off your seat, and do some things that we don't normally do in church, but are fun, and that's what today is about. We're celebrating our new beginning of our new church year. There will be a barbecue at about 11.30. The bouncy will go back up as soon as church is done. The kids can start playing and we'll have our barbecue, food, tables there. Just take your chairs over there. And at the end, before you go home, uh, make sure you help stack some chairs and help us put everything away. Everything that came out needs to go back in and it doesn't you know mysteriously do that we need help so and the kids were great this morning thank you for all your help they they really got all these chairs out and tables and did a lot of work so thank you very very much I just want to announce for those of you who may not know Rita Swan had another fall and had a concussion so she's recuperating from that as well as her um, disability right now in being able to walk or put any weight on her legs. So please keep her in your thoughts and prayers. Let us join together in acknowledging the land in which we worship. We acknowledge with gratitude and respect the Indigenous, Inuit, and Métis peoples of this land. We share the responsibilities and privileges for living, working, and worshiping on Treaty 1 land. We are all treaty people. Now, we're going to sing Rise and Shine, which is the Arky Arky song, and you cannot, you cannot sit down. If you sit down for this song, unless you really have to, it is a sin. So please, <laughs> let's stand and clap and dance and be excited. <laughs> or what? <laughs> Great, that got us all warmed up. 
All right, now today we celebrate, and there are some actions, some which will seem obvious, some which will not. So if you hear a word and you want to do an action, please feel free to do that. And if you don't, I will certainly cue you. So we, and when you hear the words, we come, we come, your response is we come to celebrate. And say that like you really mean it. We come. We come to celebrate. Yay. All right. We celebrate sunshine and rain, warmth of the sun and the coolness of the rain. We celebrate long summer days and short winter days and the beauty of the fall leaves with their beautiful colors. We celebrate balloons and parades and chocolate chip cookies. We celebrate seashells and elephants and lions that roar. Roar like a lion. Oh, great. We celebrate roasted marshmallows, chocolate cake, and fresh fish. We celebrate aromas. Sniff the air. We celebrate pizza cooking and fresh apple pie and bread baking. We come. We come to celebrate. We celebrate seeing bright colors, wheat in a field, wildflowers. We celebrate hearing waves pounding, rain falling, and soft voices. We come, we come to celebrate. We celebrate touching toes in the sand. Wiggle your toes. Pretend you're in sand. And a kitten's fur and a parent's hug. Bubbles being blown. Pretend to blow bubbles. So we celebrate, we come. We come to celebrate. Bring your balloons and butterflies, your bouquets of flowers. Dance your dances, paint your feelings, sing your songs and whistle and laugh. Life is a celebration, an affirmation of God's love and God's creation. Life is balloons and bubbles and laughter and rocks. We come, we come to celebrate. For God so loved the world, surely that is cause for joy. Surely we should celebrate. We come, we come to celebrate. Let us pray. Creator and creating God, as we gather, we are thankful for your creation, for light and darkness, for air and wind and sky, for earth and sea, for seeds and harvest and plant life, for sunlight, moonlight, and starlight, for every living creature, swarming, flying, creeping, and grazing for our lives. In our actions and in our words, may we honor and celebrate your very good creation as we seek wisdom on how to share our gratitude and love in good ways and healing ways. Amen. Let us join together in singing, O Beautiful Gaia. This song has become, I think, a, little, a new favorite for our congregation. And Gaia, I just want to remind you that Gaia is another word for Mother Earth. And so this song reminds us to take the earth and all creation. And uh, it says here in the hymn book, invite us to live into our care and respect for all creation. Let's stand and sing together.
That is a beautiful hymn and a, be, has become a favorite of mine as well. Now we're going to read scripture, but it's not going to be like we normally do. So there's actions involved. So all of them are listed and I will help prompt you if, if you forget. So when you hear the word God, you say, wow. wow. So very good. You do a thumbs up. Okay, let's see your thumbs up. Great. When you hear the word sun, moon, stars, and light, you point to the sky. When you hear the word night, nighttime, you pretend you're sleeping. Now, you can do that quietly or you can snore. It doesn't really matter. And water of any sort, you make waves. And birds chirp like a bird. Oh, great. I, that's, that's a funny bird. <laughs> Animals, you make any noise of any animal, unless it tells you a specific animal, you make any noise of any animal you like. So, animals? <laughs> Great. Now, when you hear the word quiet, shh. When you hear the word walk, you put your feet and walk. And when you hear the word no, you shake your head. And when you hear the word resting, you really do pretend you're snoozing. And that may or not, may or may not involve snoring. Totally up to you. All right, now here's the Genesis 1 story. It begins. Are you ready? All right, today's story is about a great big change. It happened in a time before there were eagles or tigers or puppies, before there were sunsets, stars or hippos, or even belly buttons. Long ago, God, wow, was all alone. God, wow, had no, shake your head, had no people to talk to. And it was very quiet. But then God, wow, said, do you know what? God, wow, said, let there be light. And when God, wow, said that light, went zooming all over the place. Pretend you're a little ray of light. You can point up, you can zoom around, don't be shy, shooting out across the dark sky. I wonder if we have any fast rays of light. I bet we do. Oh my, I wonder if there are any rays of light that are like slow in motion. And God, wow, saw all the light shooting around the sky. And God, wow, said, that's good. That's good. That's very, very good. All right, let's say that together. That's good. That's good. That's very, very good. Yay. Two thumbs up. All right. On the second day, God... Wow, spoke again and separated the sky from the waters of the oceans and the rivers and the streams. Hmm, I wonder what we could do to pretend that we're a bunch of clouds. Can you float like a cloud? Can you drift across the sky? Let's be waves, make waves in the ocean, rolling around the shore. Can you be a waterfall, plunging down a mountain? Let's be a little brook bubbling and skipping over stones in our path, or a stream, zigzagging its way across the land. Can you fall down like a raindrop? Float like a cloud again. Fall down like the rain. Float, fall, float, fall. God, wow, wow said, that's good. That's good. That's very, very good. On the third day, God, made the flowers and the trees. Let's pretend to be little seeds. So scrunch down and then pop up. Because you're growing, let's grow, grow, grow. Wow, we have really big trees in here. Is anybody poison ivy? Oh no, don't touch me. <laughs> and after making all those flowers and trees, God, wow, said, are you ready? That's good, that's good, that's very, very good. Now on the fourth day, it was time to make the stars and the planets and the moon and the sun. So God, wow, wow. said, let there be light. And there was God, wow. made the twinkly stars, wiggle your fingers like you're twinkling, good. And God wow. made the blazing bright sun. Show me a bright giant smile like the sun. Blaze at someone next to you, smile to someone next to you. Be their sunshine. God, wow, made the moon float across the earth. 
or around the earth, I guess that's better put. Pretend you're the moon, point to the sky and float around the earth. God saw all the stars and planets and sun and said, that's good, that's good, that's very, very good. Now on the fifth day, God wow, made all the birds to fly in the sky and fish to swim in the sea. So let's all vo- ha- hear all the birds. Fly, birds, fly. And now, and now you can be sharks. Pretend to swim around a bit, chase a bird. No, sharks, sharks don't really chase birds. I just had to add that. Only kidding. Are you ready? And God said, that's good, that's good, that's very, very good. Now we're on the sixth day. And God, wow, made all the animals that walk on the land and crawl on the ground. What was one of the animals? Make a sound. Or a cat? There's a lot of strange birds, animals. And God, wow, made all of them that day. And God also made people. God used the mud to form two humans. Pretend you're taking, you're playing in a sandbox or a mud pit and shape the mud into a human person. Then God, wow, breathed into the humans God's spirit. And ta-da, the person is alive. God loved all the animals and people. So God, wow, said again, that's good, that's good. That's very, very good. Now we're on the seventh day. God, wow, didn't make anything at all that day. God was still. Freeze. God took a break, wow, from God's, wow, creating to teach people. They needed to take a break from their work too. God, wow, is stronger than anyone or anything. Do you think God gets tired? Wow. Do you think God, wow, gets tired too? Flex your muscles and show me how strong you think God might be. God, wow, rested on this day so that people could learn to rest, not walk or run. So let's pretend to go to sleep. Lay your head down on a pretend pillow and sleep, but not for long. Great. God, wow, was finished creating the world, and I think all the animals and birds and stars and waterways and everything was thinking, that's good, that's good, that's very, very good. Thank you for helping me tell the story of God's creation in Genesis. And that story was told by the Hebrew people 3,000 years ago. So thank you. Now I'm going to tell you another story that's actually in scripture that was told 2,000 years ago. That is in John 1, 1 to 5. We usually say, read this at Christmas time. And it's not really thought of as a creation story, but it is. It is a creation story. It's a story where we usually refer to the word and we think of that as Jesus. So I'm going to read it to you. But the Hebrew meaning of the word is divine, creative energy. So I'm going to read it with those words and think about that passage that is so familiar to many of us. John 1, 1 to 5. In the beginning was the divine creative energy and the divine creative energy was with God and the divine creative energy was God. The divine creative energy was with God in the beginning. Everything came into being through the divine creative energy and without that divine creative energy nothing came into being. What came into being through the divine creative energy was life, and the life was the light for all people. That light shines in the darkness, and the darkness doesn't extinguish the light. Now, every culture has a creation story. This one, the next one, is from our indigenous brothers and sisters, and it's called The Raven. It's a creation story told by the Haida people, and it was told 5,000 years ago. The Haida people live in British Columbia. The story is adapted, but it's a traditional story. It's about Raven. 
Raven was so lonely. One day he paced back and forth on the sandy beach, feeling quite forlorn. Except for the trees, the moon, the sun, the water, and a few animals, the world was empty. His heart wished for the company of other creatures. Suddenly, a large clam pushed its way through the sand, making an eerie, bubbling sound. Raven watched and listened intently as the clam opened up. It opened up slowly. He was surprised and happy to see tiny little people emerging from the shell. All were talking and smiling and shaking the sand off their tiny little bodies. People of all ages and sizes, even children, spread around the island. Raven was pleased and proud of his work. He sang a beautiful song of great joy and greeting. He had brought the first people to the world. Creation is a gift from God, our creator. We are to treat the earth with respect and dignity. May each of us hear the cries of creation and help take care of Mother Earth and her creatures, and in doing so, please our God. Let us pray. And in our prayer, our response is, when you hear the words, thank you, God, we are grateful, God, for your gift of creation. Creating God, creator of the bright blue sea and each grain of sand and the majestic whale, the big fat bullfrogs, big black bugs, soft and cuddly bunnies, monkeys and kangaroos, and really for all the creatures of the earth, except for maybe not the mosquitoes or wasps or hornets or horseflies, we know we are to care for creation, the creatures and our creator. Forgive us when we pollute the oceans, pillage the seas of our planets and destroy the fragile ecosystems of our earth. Help us to learn to care for creation and mother earth with all of her creatures. Thank you, God. We are grateful, God, for your gift of creation. Let us pray together the prayer that Jesus taught us, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father and Mother, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us join together in singing song, God of the Sparrow.
let us give our gifts joyfully, celebrating all that God is and all that God has given us. Let us give our gifts to our God by giving by par, dropping them off at the church, or leaving them here in the basket. Let us give generously to the work of our church and beyond. Let us stand as we say grace, and then I will do the blessing. And after that, then we will take your chairs over to the tables. Kids, get ready. The bouncy is going to go up pretty quick. And then we'll have lunch whenever it's ready, 1130-ish. All right, so let's stand. Go and act and care for creation. Go and learn for the sake of creation. Go and pray for the love of creation. And may the care of God enfold you and the passion of the risen Christ embolden you and the wisdom of the Holy Spirit empower you now and forever. Amen. So let's celebrate. Oh, I forgot to say grace. Sorry. Let's, let's thank God for the food we're going to eat. Let's pray. God, we thank you for being together. We thank you for the food that we are about to eat. We thank you for those who've worked so hard to get it ready and to do all the work for today. Ask for your blessing upon the food in our time together. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now let's celebrate. <laughs>